I'm going to go over how to analyze uh, the ABF files that we had analyzed in this study. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the the raw data in our data and I'm going to transfer it to my desktop. And I already transferred it into my folder here and I transferred the raw data and I'm also need going to want to transfer the scripts folder so these two folders will need to be transferred. So once I transfer them, I'm going to want to look into raw data. And just for an example, I'm going to look into the EPCs group 1 in the first folder. And I already deleted the auto event stats.mat files. So all I have is ABF files, unlike these other folders where we have auto event stats files. So here is a folder without auto event stats files. And so now what I need to do is open up MATLAB. I'm going to need to navigate to where I have uh, my, my scripts files. So if I open up MATLAB, I'm going to want to navigate to where the script fi scripts files are. If I go to desktop, created a users folder and oh here we go scripts so in the scripts uh, folder I'll double click on scripts and it'll open up once I'm inside scripts uh, all I have to do is locate these this file called event detect gy.m I'm gonna right click and click run and it'll start up a program and you should get a window that looks like this. And essentially, uh, this window is going to be what is going to be our program we use to analyze the raw data files. So what I'm going to do is click Open Folder. I'm going to find inside uh, the raw data the folder EPCs Group One. I had deleted the ABF files. I'm not not the ABF files. I deleted the .mat files inside this folder. So I'll select that folder and then I'll select a file I want to analyze. And so I'll select the first one. Oops. And I'll open that. And it'll be thinking for a little bit while it's filtering. And so it filtered the data and it plotted it. In our, and so now here's the data we want and I don't want to analyze this so I don't, what I want to do is crop the data and if I click crop you'll get this kind of window and you'll left click to set your crops and then you right click to kind of end the crop cropping so I'll right click here and that'll end the cropping and now it'll highlight only this region and the second thing I will want to do is apply a threshold value and if I click threshold I should get another window and once again just like crop I can left click to add a value and it'll give me uh, kind of the peaks it's interested in um, so that looks like a good level so I'm gonna keep it there and then I right click to end my peak selecting and it's gonna give me well in the background there is some uh, a few algorithms kind of eliminating bad events and bad events uh, defined mostly based on uh, outlier criteria and so it will give me a new plot with good events in green and bad events in red and if I'm uh, further interested in looking at these events I can click edit events although that's misleading it should be view events because you can't really edit them uh, we created a separate program to edit the events but for the most part um, see this event I would probably want to rescue I can't I would have to use another program after I'm done analyzing to rescue that but for the most part uh, all these events are uh, are kind of pretty good I think that one so this one was probably eliminated because uh, it was an outlier based on amplitude it's like this one but well, who knows uh, so next thing I would want to do is generate the stats for each of those individual events that we have detected here and I will click stats and when I click stats 
uh, where each event is going to be fitted with uh, rising uh, exponential and a decaying exponential and as well as the amplitude and the area under curve uh, stats will be generated but for the most part the part that takes the most time is uh, finding the mean square error for linear regression will fit and so there's 28 events Oh no, 26 good events. So as you notice, they only analyzed 26 events because I thought two of them were no good for analysis. So I didn't even analyze two of those. So in here you'll get, uh, so essentially our amplitude, our tau 1 and tau 2, uh, this is actually uh, uh, 1 over tau, I believe. And this is in units of seconds. And this is our area under curve. Oh yeah, tau 1 and tau 2 corresponds to the rising and decaying curves of the event. And r1 and r2 are the minimum, are the r squared, the mean square error of the fits. And when I'm done analyzing, all I have to do is click save. And you'll get a window that says file saved. And then I'll click OK. And if I go kind of back to where I had, I had that data file if I go into raw data ABC's group 1 and then I'll notice that there's a new file here now that I had uh, removed before and it saves it as the same file the ABF file name it just removes the ABF uh, extension and appends the auto event stats uh, name so essentially that's how we generated all of our auto event stats files